Hi, good afternoon, Dr. Norira. So uh, today I'm going to present for my men's report presentation, which my name is Law Camping and this is my metric number P103776 and my title is Comsol Simulation of Gallium Oxide Solar Blind UV Photo Detector. And as for the introduction, the as we know that solar blind UV photo detector are used to detect the emission of a photon with a wavelength which is less than 280 nanometer. Its application is usually used in the missile warning, heat sensing, telecommunication network, and beside beside that it also has a ultra wide band gap compared to the zinc oxide, gallium nitride, silicon SIC, silicon carbonate, and also the diamond. And as we know that for the gallium oxide, it has a different polymorphism, such as alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and epsilon. And for the reason findings is that they found that the solar blind UV photo detector has an excellent chemical and thermal stability which can be survived in the raqueous environment, which is a harsh environment. And for example, for the reports of the gallium oxide, which is, which is the team firms, single crystals, nano wire, nano rod, array, nano tube, and etc. So this application is usually involved in the photoconductive scooty barrier and also with the metal semiconductor metal structures which is usually be involved in the in the solar blind UV photo detector and for this solar blind photo detector we know that it's it can help to increase the responsivity and also strengthen greatly with the holes trapped by the surface state at the metal semiconductor metal surface, which is the MSM structure. And thus, it is also necessary to occur the carrier multiplication because this the purpose is to enhance the responsivity of the photo detector. And so next, we also do find out that for our room, slash gallium oxide slash aurum structures which is uh, MSM structures this structure if applied in the photo detector it can shows uh, excellent responsivity and also appear the greatest quantum efficiencies roughly for about 8228 percent so this is also considered a high performance gallium oxide solar blind UE photo detector by using this MSM structure, which is uh, Aurum, Aurum slash Gallium Oxide slash Aurum. And now come with the result and discussion that I'm simulate. So as you as you can see that this is the absorption spectra for the beta gallium oxide team firms at the 1A section there. So it shows that the this spectra is occur at the 254 nanometer and it's also a transparent oxide firm which is known as the TCO firm and as for the XRD pattern of the gallium oxide team firm is it can show at the figure 1b there so it has a you can see that the gallium oxide has different direction or different plane, it shows that this gallium oxide have a different polymorphism. And the second figure is about the responsivity of the of the photo solar blind UV photo detector and quantum efficiencies, which I'm applying the apply bias of twenty volt twenty V. And this responsivity is has shown that the peak, spe peak spectrum occur around at 255 nanometer 
and also its cut off wavelength is occurring about at the 260 nanometer so the inside inlet of the figure set is shows the UV to visible rejection which the defined as the responsivity ratio at the 255 nanometer and 450 nanometer around 8.5 times 10 to the power of 6. So this is the uh, inlet there. It shows the it shows the quantum efficiencies, which I have found out that its QE is about 8,228%, and the wavelength occur around at 255 nanometer. So as it comes to the figure 3, this is the electric potential profile that I used to simulate from the console simulation. This profile has shown the aurum and gallium oxide structures under 20 volt for the figure 3A and for the figure 3B there it shows a 255 nanometer condition which is the peak wavelength spectrum that is occur that is occur at the at the optimized wavelength where you when you refer to the figure 2 here the figure 2 it shows that the peak is occur around at 250 to 255 nanometer while for the for this one we want to test whether the condition what will happening for the optimized situation so i'm tend to simulate a optimized wavelength that what is happening inside in the solar blind uv photo detector by showing the electric potential profile so when for the electric potential profile the structure that i'm using is actually aurum slash gallium oxide slash aurum structure which is simulated under the software of console multiphysics and the width of the fingers is 10 micrometer length is 500 micrometer and the spacing between the adjacent which is from here until here is about five is about 10 micrometer so the 10 micrometer as you can see the spacing between the adjacent and for the resistance that we find out that during the dark condition it has shown a 10 giga ohm while for during the light condition, which is at the 255 nanometer condition, it shows that the resistance drop until 10 mega ohm. So, which is under this figure 3B for the electric potential profile. And for this electric potential profile, we would also like to do the carrier multiplication because we also want to determine whether it can happen or not for the carriers to increase its performance of the solar blind UV photo detector. So now comes to the figure 4. As you can see, this is the wheel of the aurum slash gallium oxide slash aurum structure under the light condition which is about the 255 nanometer so as you can see the electrons start moving to the pos pos positive side and uh, go the electron start moves to the negative side and leaves the hole behind at the positive pose there so when the bias voltage is applying the photogenerated carriers more likely to be happen is because they will carry along this into this area this area which happening the the transmission of the electron and also the holes and this accelerated carrier will collide with the gallium oxide which will then release the kinetic energy and produce an additional carrier. 
So after that, this process will colliding with this scalene oxide surface. So eventually, this will releasing the energy. And this energy, as a consequence, it will cause a greater gain of the photodetector to be achieved. So thanks to this carrier multiplication, it can help to improve the quantum efficiency and also its per performance of the gallium oxide solar blind UV photo detector. And you can see during the reverse bias for the figure 4B here, so when the photon energy is greater than the band gap of the gallium oxide in this aurum structure, so this is the band gap and when it have a greater energy, the electrons will move from the valence band and get its excitation energy. So when it get excited, it will start to move to the conduction band, which is above the above the valence band. So this leaves the holes left behind, which is the red color. Oh, sorry, the red color is the uh, electron. The electron will appear in the conduction band, while for the hole will appear at the valence band, which is at the bottom of the conduction band. So this process will end up as a process of the photo generation of the electron and holes. So when this process ha becomes rapidly happening, this will generate more and more photogenerated carriers in this structure, in this aurum gallium oxide aurum structure. So the efficiencies and also the performance and optical gain for this solar blind UV photodetector to be improved, so drast drastically improved. So therefore, when it's come to the conclusion that this simulator photo detector exhibit the responsivity of 17 ampere slash volt. This is for the responsivity and also the UV to visible rejection ratio is roughly 8.5 times 10 to the power of 6. And the quantum efficiency it's find out that it's occur around 8228%. At the 20 volt of the apply bias voltage. And this is thanks to the carrier multiplication, therefore, it has a greater optical gain in the photo detector. So, when the light is happening uh, and tend to move moving through and go through this photo detector, this photo detector will easily know the sensing process and it will start to functioning. So therefore, all this, all this specification is important to improve the performance of the solar blind UV photo detector. And this is all the references that I have referred for this work. And thank you.